Don Luciano prized an eye for business above his son Tony's view of the world through the sights of his gun. He'd given him the nightclub to run to get him back on the high road. But Kim Bong Sik had kidnapped my client Cherry Pops, the only human Tony Luciano had ever warmed up to. And Tony couldn't even spell negotiation. All right. Any one of you that speaks a word of English, tell them loopy twins you work for that I'm here for what's mine. Oh, did you hear me? I said, bring me Cherry Pops, or this Desert Eagle's gonna say it louder. One, two... <clears throat> Diplomacy and tolerance weren't numbered in Tony's talents. He liked to shoot first and ask, well, he just liked to shoot. It wasn't much for questions. You hear me now? <laughs> Christ. But for Tony, finding Cherry on his own called for stealth and deduction, and all Tony had were a lot of bullets. into the walls. Make him dead. Twin Dragon's main attraction was their famous mermaid show, but their star girl, Princess Neptuna, had run off with what she hoped was a prince. Anyway, the club was open only to its armed employees while they auditioned a new girl, and the auditions were tanking. <laughs> Jerry! 
Give me a noise, baby, says I can get to where you are. Now I'm getting steamed. One by one. <laughs> Wet floor sign, huh? Yeah, you'd actually have to clean this place to get it. Wait! Ah, madonna mia! Ah, oh, Christ. Ain't you heard of a courtesy flush? What are you looking at? Damn it. Oof, smells like steamed vegetables in here. Nerve.
Keep your head up, doll. I got bigger fish to fry right now. ain't figured out let's go good for you. <laughs> Bartenders here got a real bad way about it. Ah, that's the ticket. You think you can stop Tony Luciano? Damn it. Oh, keep it down, all right? What is this now, a sword fight? Can't be down here. Cherry's strictly VIP. Tony was his father's biggest shame. Dim-witted, loud-mouthed, and hot-headed. He burned every bridge he crossed and a few for his family. But next to I never should have left politics! <laughs> All right then, nice to meet you. They got cabs right on the corner. Looks like where they take the quality girls. The sixth true origin was shrouded in mystery, but according to my number one informant, Jim Bongsik had a rap sheet full of murder, graft, and theft, while his twin brother Kim Bong was feared from east to west as a killer of young and old and girls. Oh, so these are the real hard cases. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh.
There you are, Angel. My client, Cherry Pops, was the very definition of a femme fatale. Feminine and, you know, fatale. The kind of dame who inspired bloodshed and heartbreak, twisting men's hearts till their pockets were empty and their eyes were full of lust. Didn't matter if they were rich, powerful, even dangerous. In the end, they'd all spill their darkest secrets and beg for more. Tony? You gotta be kidding me. guy. But thank God you're here, Tony. The Sikh brother's goons jumped me outside the smoking barrel just before my shift. I thought I'd never escape. Well, the day's still coming out of your check. So what's with the hardware? Is something wrong? We need something wrong. Ain't you heard the fire and smoke? While you were in here playing Dance Dance Revolution, I had to take out half the Pacific Rim trying to rescue you. Well, let's get out of here, sweepy. We got a sunset to ride on into.